Hello and welcome to Functional Skills Maths Level 2. Today we're going to be looking at handling information and data, specifically calculating the median and the mode of a set of quantities. Now, if you're like me, it can be easy to confuse different averages, for example, mean, median and mode, and you end up doing one when you're supposed to be doing another. So using tools to remember which is which might help. For example, the word median has a D in the middle and so does the word middle. So this helps you to remember that when you're looking for the median, you're looking for the middle value in a set of data. So to find the median, all you need to do is put the numbers in order from lowest to highest, working to the middle by crossing off numbers on each end. Now the median is the value that appears in the middle. So as I've said, it helps you to order the values from smallest to largest. Now here's a set of data. And if we reorder them from lowest to highest, this is what we have. Now the middle value is a number three. So three is the median. Let's look at an example of finding the median. So here's your data set. And when we put the numbers in order, this is what we have. Now there are 15 numbers in total. So our middle number is the eighth number in the set of values. In this instance, the median is the number 23. Now it doesn't matter that some numbers are the same in the list. Don't worry about that. It's still the middle number. So here's another example for finding the median. So here's our data set. And when we put those numbers in order, again, this is what we have. Now this time, there are 14 numbers. So we don't just have one middle number, we actually have two or a pair of middle numbers. In this case, the numbers are 21 and 23. And now to work out the median, we need to add those two values together and divide them by two. So 21 plus 23 is 44. Divide that by two, and we have 22. So in this case, the median is 22. Now here is an example of a question you might get in an exam. So what you need to do is pause the video and then using the information that you have so far, work out the median and write down your answer on a notepad. Then press play when you're ready to get your answer. Did you get it right? Now, in this case, there's an even number of values. So there are two middle numbers. In this case, it's 36 and 36. Now, there's no need to add those two together and divide them by two because you'd still have the answer 36. So in this case, the median is 36. Now, let's move on to mode. The mode is the most frequent value in a set of data. So finding the most is simple. All you've got to do is find the value that occurs the most often in your set of data. Now it is possible to have more than one mode or no mode at all. For example, if there aren't any values that repeat. Now remember, we're looking for the value which occurs the most. Now an easy way to remember that this is what mode is, is the MO in mode stands for most often. So if you remember that, it's going to remind you that you're looking for the most frequent value. So here's an example for finding the mode. So the shoe sizes in a class, there were three with a size 10, two students with a size 12, there was two students with a size five, and one student each with a six, an eight, and a nine. So in this case, the value 10 occurs the most. Therefore, the mode is 10. Here's another example. So we have a series of shirts with different numbers on them, and the 19 appears the most out of all of the values. Therefore, the mode is 19. So here's another example of a question you might get in an exam. So in this case, pause the video, and then using the methods that we've gone through in this session, I would like you to work out the median and work out the mode. Press play when you're ready to get the answer. Did you get them right? So remember, the median is the middle value, and in this case, the middle value is 15. And mode is the most often. So in this case, 15 appears twice. 
which is the most of any value. Therefore, the mode is also 15. So let's recap what we've learned today. Remember, median has a D in the middle, and so does the word middle. So if you're looking for the middle value, that's the way to remember it. And remember the MO in mode stands for most often. So again, this is a great way of reminding you that you're looking for the most frequent value when looking for mode. Thank you for participating in today's session.